Hey guys, it's Coco and today we are going to be having Cheesecake Factory. Alright guys, this is requested by Kareen Z. We have the same name. My name is Kareen and hers is spelled double E. She said, please do a Cheesecake Factory, please and thank you. Also, we're not just going to do a Cheesecake Factory. We're going to be doing my subscribers' favorite items from Cheesecake Factory. There's a lot of you guys who um, message me on Instagram. I just picked seven items that I kind of like like i was gonna that i know that i'm gonna like so yeah there's a lot of pasta suggestions there's a lot of cheesecake suggestions i personally don't like cheesecake or sweets at all but if i get really drunk i will eat desserts but not a fan of desserts so i skipped the desserts today so these are the people that i chose with their favorite items pop them in the screen over here so so yeah, let's get started. Put my First we have Ava A. She asked me to do the bacon bacon burger. I've never had a burger at Cheesecake Factory, but it's right here. It looks super awesome. And then four cheese pasta from Brenda God Godfrey and Mexi rolls. So I got a tex mex rolls here and four cheese ziti pasta. Chicken piccata from Aisha Tind from Instagram. Chicken piccata over here. Chipotle chicken pasta from Catherine from Instagram looks good spicy pasta that's my jam the meatloaf with the side of asparagus from bean I didn't get the asparagus I just got the meatloaf with the corn in mashed potatoes and then Whitney Gordon said mac and cheese balls which I got over here with the five cheese ziti pasta as well so that's what I all got all right let's start with my diet coke here you guys it's been so long I've just been so Busy, I promise to upload more videos and be more consistent within this week. Yeah, let's get started with this mac and cheese balls. Ah, oh, yum. Got the marinara sauce dipping here. Mm. So cheesy. Mm, it's good today. Sometimes it's just like very macaroni. Mm. That's some really good cheese balls. All right. Let's try the Tex Mex rolls. Got the dipping sauce over here. It's like a guacamole, something. Mmm. So yummy. It's like a little spicy too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with Chipotle. Chicken. Mm. I love how the chicken chunks are burnt. Not burnt, but almost. There's asparagus in here. Chipotle sauce. Mm hmm. So yummy. Let's try to meet love. There's two big chunks of meatloaf here. Mmm. There's gravy, there's mashed potatoes. It's okay. Very plain. The meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Let's finish this one mac and cheese ball because it's so good.
I'm gonna get Eden's try. Four cheese, big city. There's a lot of cheese in here. It's very cheesy and creamy. Honestly, almost like too cheesy for me. Like I like cheese, but this is too cheesy for me. The four cheese basity. All right, time to check out this chicken piccata. There's angel hair pasta, there's lemon, and there is uh, chicken breast with mushrooms. All right, guys. Here it is, chicken piccata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The noodles are just so buttery. That is a perfect combination with this very flavorful chicken. Mm -hmm. Great suggestion. At first I was like, I don't know about the lemon and the chicken. But it's super good. Let's do another Tex Mix. Roll. These are okay. The Tex Mex rolls. If you ask me, it's not worth the price if you go to Cheesecake Factory, but the mac and cheese balls is worth the price. Piccata is worth the price. I just ate a lemon. <laughs> Let's not do that. Mm. Catherine, the spicy Chipotle chicken is good. I would ask for my sauce. The pasta tends to absorb all the sauce. Fast. So I ask for extra sauce. I like my pasta saucy. But it's up to you. Meatloaf is pretty dry for me. Ask extra gravy for the meatloaf. I've had steaks from Cheesecake Factory too. They're all right. They're very like a fancy Applebee's steak. Like it's not, like if you're getting steaks, go to a steakhouse. Their steaks are like very okay. There's so many things on the menu that we can do a whole week of doing Cheesecake Factory. Eating new stuff every day, for sure. Mm hmm. The bacon burger. I've heard a lot of good things about Cheesecake Factory burgers. I heard they're really good. But we'll see. It is huge. This is the bacon burger. I just don't know how to put this in my mouth.
When I eat my burger, I like my burger. Um, the burger bun has a lot to do with my burger, with the liking, how I like my burger. Their bun is not the best. Um, the burger is good, but I wish the bun was more buttery, more like uh, toasty, a little less dense. The bread of the burger buns at JCK Factory is just kind of on the hard side, I don't know if it's stale, but it's just too dense and hard for me. Almost like a pretzel bun, if you ask me. So that's why I like Five Guys a lot because their buns are so soft. Almost like sometimes it gets really like sloppy, like moist in the aluminum foil, but when it's done perfectly and you eat it right away, it's the best. I'm not impressed with the burger. Sorry. Maybe it's just me. But I am really picky about my burger. I wish this chicken from the piccata though is like it's grilled chicken. But I would appreciate this more if it's like a breaded coated chicken breast, kind of like a chicken parm, but Lemon sauce. <laughs> I just like fried chicken a lot, that's why. So far my favorite is the spicy chicken chipotle piccata. And the mac and cheese balls from Cheesecake Factory. The others are very meh. That's just, just my opinion. Cheers. Cheers to uploading more. And don't forget to put in your favorite mukbang request on the comment section, you guys. I have so many. I like to pile them because when I make videos, I wanted to eat like I choose what I'm in the current mood for. Like, if I crave Pan Express for a certain day, I'd be like, okay, who requested Pan Express? And I'd be doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> but I also eat everything, so. Mm hmm. Yummy. So far, I'm just very disappointed of the meatloaf. I'm really not a fan of meatloafs, but I gave it a chance. It's not bad, it's just very kind of. I could use more flavor. And it's very. Dry meatloaf is supposed to be kind of like mushy and falls apart, and this doesn't. It's like almost like a dense cake. I'm also surprised about the big city because P 
people requested that. This is too much cheese for me. Almost like, look, I'm gonna do this and like when I was transferring it to the plate, like all the pasta is like clumped up together because of the cheese. Cause it's not that hot anymore. So like the cheese like formed into a clumps and then it was just like a clump pasta cheese. Another bite of the Tex-Mex rolls. Also, if my beer is $17, it should be out of this world good, but it wasn't. <laughs> Just to make sure I don't like it. Yeah, I'd rather have a Whopper. <laughs> I think the Whopper, the Burger King's Whopper, has a perfect size of burger. How I like it, fits in my hand. Oh, it fits in my mouth. It's like the perfect size of a burger for me. I'm getting so full, you guys. So much food. What are you guys' favorite items to get at Cheesecake Factory? Oh, let me know in the comments. On the usual day, when I don't know what to get. On the usual day, I'm usually healthy from like Monday to Thursday or like Monday to half of Friday and Friday night Saturday and Sunday I don't care what I eat I eat everything so if I'm really hungry and I want to DoorDash or something from like Cheesecake Factory it's usually like there's Caesar salad or chicken it's a huge portion of salad and I get really full from it because it's just huge and I skip the croutons like extra parm yeah, it's really good. Sometimes they make the sauce or the Caesar dressing very garlicky, which almost kind of like hurts my tongue. But overall, so yummy. It's hard to find a really good Caesar. Salad. I've been everywhere. So many fine dining restaurants. You know, there's starters, like their salad starters are usually like Caesar salad or soup. And then they get the Caesar salad. Like it tastes like the dressing is where it's at and on anchovies. So like sometimes like the dressings taste like the bottle. Caesar dressing bottle. Ew. Me and Nick went to the Capitol Grill for his birthday this year. I took him there and I got a Caesar salad to start. Literally, the Caesar salad starter is like $9 for this. Like three bites of salad and then this the dressing literally tastes like bottled Caesar dressing. I'm full. My favorite mac and cheese balls. Spicy chipotle pasta. And then chicken piccata. Imagine how many calories. Mm. I just can't stop because there's food in front of me. What? Guys, I'm tapping out. I 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.